Hey everyone, my name's Andrew, and today we're having a look at Slim Dusty's title track from his 100th release, Looking Forward, Looking Back. Now before we get started, you're gonna need to grab your capo and put it on the third fret. That's if you wish to play along with the album. To play the intro, you're only going to need two chords, a open C chord and an open G chord. Now Slim, as with most of his songs, plays a pitch drum sort of rhythm pattern, so it's gonna be an alternating bass, so for the C chord, it's going to be the A string, followed by the G string. And then for the G chord, it's gonna be the low E string, followed by the open D string. Now the chords that sit under the introduction will be one bar of C, followed by a bar of G, another bar of C, another bar of G, and lastly, a bar of C. Now, if you wanna play the rhythm, you can literally play it like this. Slim would play it. Now, if you listen to the song, there's a little melody line in that introduction. So what I've done is incorporated that into my introduction. So it sounds like this. You're up for the challenge? Let's have a look at this. Now, I started off with a little bass note run, which I've stolen from the recorded version. Now, that's simply the third fret on the low E string. And remember, the fret numbers are in relation to the capo. So, first fret, second fret, third fret. So, it's going to go third fret on the low E string, followed by the open A string. And then we just go to a C chord, and it's that pick strum pattern. Four, we play this little hammer on lick. So it's the open D string, then we hammer onto the second fret, open G string, and then we do that same little hammer on lick again. So open D string to second fret, G string. Then we play the open D string as a bass note for our G chord, then strum, third fret on the low E string for our bass note followed by a little walking bass line, which goes open A string, second fret, which is a B note, up to our C chord. So nice and slow, it will go like this, just from the beginning. of the song I've broken up into three parts so an A section a B section and then our outro now the A section is going to start off with a bar of G followed by a bar of C then we've got a bar of A minor followed by a bar of E minor go back to our A minor chord for a bar then back to E minor then we get a bar of G and then a bar of C. And from there, we actually just double that pattern up. So I'll play it nice and slow and it will sound like this. that I threw a couple bass note runs in. They're pretty standard for a lot of country music and especially a lot of slims playing. So the first bass note run was going from our G chord to our C chord. So that's simply our third fret on the low E string, which is the root note of our G chord. Open A string, second fret on the A string, 
and then our third fret on the A string, which then becomes the bass note of our C chord. The other bass note run was going from C to our A minor chord, and that's simply taking that C note on the third fret of the A string. We play that, we follow that up with the second fret of the A string again, and then the open A string, which will become the bass note of our A minor chord. Now you'll notice for A minor that my alternating bass pattern was going from the A string to the E string, and then for my E minor chord, it's going from the low E string to the A string. Um, last little run that I did was a real quick two note one going from our E minor chord to our G chord, and that was simply the open E string, second fret, and then the third fret of the low E string, which is the bass note for our G chord. So there is part A. Part B is going to start off with two bars of A minor. We then go to a bar which is two beats of D minor followed by two beats of E minor. If you haven't played a D minor chord before, your index finger is going to be on the first fret of the high E string, your middle finger will be on the second fret of the G string, and your third finger will be on the third fret of the B string. We're going to be alternating our bass line from the open D string to the open A string. And that's what we're going to do in that rhythm part. So basically one, two, we then go to two beats of our E minor chord. One, two, and then from there we go back to another bar of A minor. We then have a bar of G, a bar of C, a bar of D major, and to finish it off, we're going to hit a G chord, and we're just going to hit it as a diamond, which basically just means that we give it one great big strum, and just hold it until we start going back to sing our A section again. So here's our B section, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's our part A and our part B. Now once we've gotten through to the end of part B, we simply go back to part A, we play that again, and then we play another B section again. Uh, there's a solo that you hear on the record or an instrumental part of the song that is simply played over the second half of our A section. Now we've done A, we've done B, we've repeated that, now we're gonna to go to our outro. And our outro is simply a full bar of G. Full bar of C, we then go to a bar of A minor, bar of E minor, another bar of A minor, another bar of E minor, then a bar of G, a bar of C, and so if you've been watching carefully, that's half of our A section, and then it's literally just some tags, so for the tags we're going to play a bar of G, followed by a bar of C, another bar of G, and then we do a diamond on our C chord to finish the song. So our outro section will sound like this. That's all the parts of looking forward, looking back. If you would like to get a copy of the chart, what you need to do is jump on Facebook and look up Practical Guitar. Uh, that's just my Facebook page for my guitar lessons that I do mostly with private students, face to face, all that sort of stuff. But I will have this video up there and underneath it in the comments, there will be a PDF file uh, with the chart on there. But until next time, like and subscribe. See you next time, guys. Bye.